What's going on, internet? Oh, this? This is just my super tiny, lightweight, portable, vertical video friendly tripod. Would you like to see? This is called the Me Photo Road Trip S. Kind of a dumb name for a brand. Look at how small this tripod is. You can bring this with you when you're walking around the city, if you're going on a hike. It's lovely for road trips when you could bring your giant tripod, but you don't really have room if you want your feet to be able to reach the floor comfortably. I'm just so impressed by how small it gets because you'll see how tall it gets. This is the compacted thing. So to bring this up to size, you unfold it like so, and there's little locks that you put in place. I'll show you what those do. They're pretty strong. Like that thing's not going anywhere. With the locks, there's two different levels. So you can lock it here, or you can lock it at a wider angle. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what you would use that for. So that's the full neck height. The mounting plate is secured by a little twisty knob and it gets in there really snug. Like I've never been concerned for my camera when it's in here. It doesn't go anywhere unless you're pushing with a lot of force like I'm doing right now. <laughs> and the thread should fit your camera unless you have a weird one. It has a little thingy so that you can secure it with your hands, but then you could also use an Allen key or a flathead. I feel like that's a little bit better because if I'm going vertical with this, like if I'm tilting my camera sideways, I've noticed it getting looser. So you might want to use a tool to tighten it if you're going to use it for vertical video. I guess I should do a demonstration of what I'm talking about here. So the reason why I wanted a tripod like this and not like some big heavy one is because I do a lot of projects where it's just me and I have kind of a run and gun style so I don't really like to be weighed down by equipment. I used to have an Amazon Basics tripod and it was made of plastic and it lasted for a while but when it finally broke I was sad because I liked having something that was so light and easy to just carry around when I'm experimenting with shots. When I'm shooting in nature I don't like to have a huge heavy tripod because because if you're hiking around, that just really wears you out really quickly. I wanted something just like the Amazon Basics one because it was so light and easy to carry around and you can even like use it kind of as a stabilizer, which is really nice for shooting events. So this has been doing a great job for me. I've been using it for a couple of months and I have no complaints unless I remember some as we're filming. <laughs> As of now, no complaints. So this is just a cheap little phone mount I have, but that's the kind of thing you can do with something like this. And when you're shooting vertical, you can flip the head around and there is a little notch right here so that you can just go down sideways. And what do you know, you're a TikTok star. It has a level on here too. I never think to check the level until the camera's already on though, so that's not really helpful. It actually makes for some pretty smooth shots. I know that's something that's really sought after in high quality tripods. It's the ability to pan smoothly, and this does a pretty good job. Like if you're someone like me and you're prepared to fix a lot in editing, this tripod does the job well enough that you're, you're gonna have some great stuff to work with in editing. I'm gonna put these legs back where I usually have them. Okay, I like to start with the shortest one. So you basically just twist and pull it out. These feel really secure. It's like they have some sort of rubber inside of them. So when you're twisting them in place, they feel like they're not gonna go anywhere. I haven't had it fall down on me yet and it doesn't feel like it's going to. The feet are also rubber. So you've got a nice grip if you're indoors. Twist, twist, twist. And I just can't get over the fact that it's a beautiful shiny blue. So yeah, pretty tall. 59.4 inches max. When the neck is not extended, it's 46 inches. And when it's folded up, it's 14 inches. So for me, I'm almost six feet tall and this does not put the camera at my eye level. So if I'm wanting to film something where the camera is supposed to be a little bit above me and I like to angle it down a little bit, I do have to find some sort of surface to set it on or I have to be sitting. If they did make a version that just got a little bit taller, that would be the perfect tripod for me. But this one is great on its own. And I'm not sure what the weight rating is on this. I'm not here to give you all the exact specifications, but let me just say that I have a GH4 and it holds it. <laughs> 
No problem. This is not just for smartphones. It can hold a real size camera. So I'm gonna close this up real fast because I was looking at this box and it shows a picture of something that I didn't realize this could do. So now I have to try it. I have used this to film an event already where I was kind of carrying it around like a stabilizer slash monopod, kind of like this, because it has one handle that has a grip on it, a rubber grip. But apparently this thing can actually convert into a monopod. The grippy leg shows a little secret message on it. Oh my gosh. Sweet. Uh, I don't know where this is supposed to go now. It's acting like I'm supposed to... Oh! So where the sandbag weight is down here, uh, you twist the little rubber piece on top of it, which causes you to be able to remove this whole thing, and then you can <laughs> make your own monopod. That's so cool! Yeah, I had no idea this could do this. Feel just a little bit dumb, but not too dumb. Wow, okay, so that's the monopod. Gets to a similar height. I'm gonna try something else. I wonder if you could just take off the head and put it directly on the monopod if you want something even shorter. Like if you're only using it for stabilization and you need to be close to the ground for some reason. Yeah, I don't think it wants me to do that. I might have something else I can put on this. One moment. This is a head that I purchased for a little slider that I used to have. So it's basically the same thing as this, only a little bit bigger. And it happens to be the proper thread size because the one connecting these two is not the same size as the one that goes into your camera. It's much larger. So that's cool. I can make a super tiny monopod if I needed to. But this is fun. Oh yeah, it also comes with different feet if you don't want to use the rubber ones in nature. It's got some sturdier ones. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. See you next time.